You might not think you're at risk for stroke, but anyone can have a stroke, no matter your age, race, or gender. Stroke can strike at any time. Stroke has a large impact on society, with nearly 7 million stroke survivors in the U.S. A stroke can cause you to have permanent deficiencies, such as speech, movement, and memory. Let's talk about certain risk factors that you may not realize increase your stroke risk. The best way to protect yourself and loved ones from stroke is to understand personal risk and how to manage it. There are two different types of stroke risk factors, controllable and uncontrollable. Controllable risk factors fall into two categories, medical or lifestyle risk factors. Medical risk factors are often caused by a combination of things, including family history. Medical risk factors are treatable by medications and special diets. High blood pressure is the most important risk factor for stroke. It is the force of blood pushing against the walls of the arteries. High blood pressure makes the heart pump harder to move blood through the body. Left untreated, it can lead to stroke as well as heart and kidney disease. Cholesterol, or plaque buildup, is a soft, waxy fat that is made by the body. Cholesterol can also be found in certain foods. High cholesterol can block normal blood flow to the brain and cause a stroke. Atrial fibrillation, or AFib, occurs when the two upper chambers of the heart beat rapidly and unpredictably, producing an irregular heartbeat. AFib raises stroke risk because it allows blood to pool in the heart. When blood pools, it tends to form clots, which can then be carried to the brain, causing a stroke. AFib is a major risk factor for stroke, making someone five times more likely to have a stroke. Diabetes is a disease that affects a person's ability to either produce enough insulin or the cells ignore the insulin. Without insulin, the body can't process sugar. Lifestyle risk factors are habits or behaviors people choose to engage in. If they are changed, they can directly affect some medical risk factors by improving them. People who are inactive and seldom exercise are more likely to get a chronic disease or die at an early age. Studies show that people who exercise five or more times per week have a reduced stroke risk. Excessive weight puts a strain on the entire circulatory system and can lead to other health problems. Smoking reduces the amount of oxygen in the blood, causing the heart to work harder and allowing blood clots to form more easily. Smoking doubles the risk for stroke when compared to a non-smoker. Drinking too much alcohol can increase blood pressure and the risk of stroke. Aim to drink in moderation. No more than one drink a day for women and two drinks for men. There are also some uncontrollable risk factors, ones that can't be changed and are simply part of the natural process. Uncontrollable risk factors include age, gender, race, family history, previous stroke or TIA, and patent foramen ovale, or PFO, which is a hole in the heart that fails to close after birth. Remember, the more risk factors you have, the more likely you are to have a stroke. Take control and learn what your personal risk is. Then make the necessary changes to prevent having a stroke. What can you do? Know your health numbers, blood pressure, cholesterol, body mass index, and blood sugar. All can play a key role in your risk for stroke. Work with your healthcare provider to manage these numbers. Stop smoking, set a quit date today, and mark your calendar at home and at work. Enjoy a brisk walk with a friend. Take a dance class or ride a bike. Exercising five or more times each week will reduce your risk for stroke. Stock up on citrus fruits, broccoli, and cauliflower. Eating five daily servings of fruits and vegetables has been shown to reduce stroke risk. No matter what, it's important to know what to look for in case of stroke. Use FAST to remember the warning signs of stroke. F is for face. Does one side of the face droop? A is for arms. Does one arm drift downwards? S is for speech. Is their speech slurred or strange? T is for time. If you observe any of these signs, call 911 immediately. Arm yourself with knowledge to prevent stroke happening to you or your loved one. Learn more at stroke.org 